Hey guys, just a quick update on how far we're getting with the auto generation tool. Again, we're gonna be the first websites that has uh, API content that writes itself according to a recipe through an API to create pages that are awesome um, automatically onto websites that self-adjust for improved ROI. So we've been building this up. It's hard work. It's a lot of effort. But I just want to point out how far we got with this stuff, okay? So we can generate content with commands. We can generate page content. One thing we did with the page content is... When you want to go in and edit, say you didn't beat the Surfer SEO score, you can put in manual subtitles of your own based on and keywords based on what you need to do to, to finish new contents that will therefore uh, win the score on Surfer uh, for the audits, right? And you can select your tone and your actions either override or append. It would usually be append. Give it some word count, hit next, and it'll generate those new sections for you onto the page, which of course then you can move around with the inline editor. So back to the articles. What do I want to say? Is that I have never seen it be so easy to create pages that not only um, fill in the contents you want because you chose the subtopics it's supposed to write about, all the sections, but then you can also add a few more with their own keywords to finish an audit that you ran. And the whole thing's done in, in I don't care, 15 minutes per totally finished top ranking web page. In other words, the quality of the web page is such that it can rank. So for us doing the accident attorneys, for us doing the real estate projects, for us doing the roof max projects and anything else, the, the quality is just insurmountable. The fact that we can create variations for so many websites means we can outdo everyone organically. And we know, at least with the uh, accident attorneys, four different ways to earn from everyone who hits that website. So it's very hard not to earn from any one visitor. That's the coolest thing in the world. So after creating it, we can, we can view it. We can edit like um, this addiction treatment one. Uh, I mean, I looked at this and I built this thing and I thought it was pretty cool and I organized the order of the sections, how they came out on the page, how the page closed with this whole get addiction help for your loved one today. Uh, all of this. I got this whole darn thing done in minutes. It was just minutes. And then when I ran it through an audit, it was almost in the green. And so then I wanted to take a few of the keywords I still needed to stick in there and create one more section to fit those keywords in or two maybe. So just go back and write those and append it into the process. Whew. Nuts. So anyway, now I can merge that. Here's the next thing. Once you get it done, you can create duplicates. How many variations do you want between one and 25 at a time? What's the word count? on average for each of those variations, like up to how many words? 2,500, 3,500, 4,500? Um, what are the keywords for this concept? They're variations, so you probably want the same keyword sets. Uh, which subtitles do you want? Just make sure to enter them all and hit create. And it's gonna do it. It's gonna create 25 similar, but utterly different web pages. So whether that's 25 subdomains on a single domain that is aimed at each different city, 25 cities deep, write a page for that. That's like page one for 25 cities on your website. <laughs> or you've got 25 websites and you want a main page, that page one on each of those 25 websites for 25 different cities or all 25 for the same city <laughs> or 10 for this city 10 for that city, and five to be jumbled up across the last five cities. I mean, whatever. It's easy. <laughs> okay, so that's the point. Creating enough pages to handle all the website demands and then come back and do another 25. Come back and do another 25. There's no limits. It's just right now we set it to 25 at one time. Okay? Because we're still testing our process, making sure it doesn't bog down, doesn't get stuck halfway through. You wouldn't want it writing like 212 versions and then just stopping for no reason and not finishing and not giving it to you, right? <laughs> so yeah, 25 at a time max right now, but that's okay. That's okay. So what happens when you do that? Say you did 25 versions of this and this and this and the next one and the next one that you create, five pages, and they're all like different pages for the same thing. Now you say, I've got my 25 variations done for each of those five pages. 
So you're gonna merge the variations. It's gonna say, which ones do you wanna merge? And it's gonna be based on the output list of each of those variations that you did. So like if I go in here, it's gonna show me what I did for this, you know, that that's here right now. We did many delete and most is just test by test by test. So it's just got two variations here, three variations there. It's kind of boring to look at that way, but that's the point. I could download either one of these things. They act like um, var sheets, mini var sheets, okay? And then this one's got its own. The next one's got its own. So if I go back and say, I want to merge, it's going to say, which one of those do you want to merge? And I might be like, oh, that one from that one, that one from that one, that one from that one. And then I'll say, now go. And when I do, you know what it's going to do? It's going to create one big Excel file with all of the columns for all of those uh, five pages, you know, my three or five pages, whatever it is I got here that I'm working with. <sighs> so it's creating my var sheet for me. The only rest of it that I need for my var sheet is to add in the beginning part that's got the standard columns, you know, for say what cities, what uh, company name, what phone number, what address, what state, what zip, what product name, service name, any of those things. Do you have to have company information? No. Does it have to be for a particular city? No. Um, but there you go. I mean, building the var sheet, whether it's geo or no geo, uh, just simply means having the whole thing done for 25 websites at a time. And then I could produce the next variations off the next stack. And the next off that I could actually do all the variations I did at once. And then just make sure that they're in the right place. And, uh, you know, columns wise. But I would just do them in sets of 25 at a time and then paste them all together. Get my 100 or 200. And then just run it. Whole thing done in no time at all. Pretty soon, but when you merge the variations and produce the outputs, since it's all saved inside the system, you can hit generate pages. And it will just create all those pages on your website. And we're gonna have simple rules like for the parent page and the page title and the meta description because it's based on those contents from those pages. How's that for cool? So yeah, won't be long. A handful more days of programming, a few more days of programming, sometime next week, sometime next week, we're going to be able to release this. <laughs> and that will make us the first websites ever that allow us to mass page generate AI driven content based on recipes that have been tried and proven inside of audits where the output pages uh, monitor themselves and make adjustments for the highest ROI and tell you who the most active engagers are on the web pages by name, address, city, state, zip, email, phone, uh, whether they're married, what their age range is, their education level, their, their uh, net worth, their household income. I mean, you're going to have all of that in your user tracking information. But the point of it is so that these guys, the ones who are engaged, the ones you care to talk to, because you hope they're responsive, you want them to be. Whatever your level of, of decided engagement, they can be added in your newsletter. And your newsletter can drip on them to come back to your website for all these different reasons. And that does apply to our accident attorney websites. If people come, but they're too tentative to call right now, they're still researching, we can have them added, depending on their engagement level, into a newsletter that reaches back out and reminds them that if they're hurting, yes, we can help. Our legal offices, our law offices are the ones that they should turn to in the event of blah, blah, blah. Come back to the website. Give us a call today. And that way, there's the link and they can click it and come to the website and they can call or if they don't qualify, they can click the banner link. And if they don't do that, they can chat on the live chat box. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, just nuts for cool. Absolutely great. I love this. I don't know anyone else who has websites that can do this kind of structured um, assurance of the sale. And the fact that we can babysit the user actions. So our sites are babysitting and we're babysitting too. Just to ensure the right results, the best results come through for you. All right.